Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you all again. Thank you for coming back. Um, today I thought I would film a autumn slash fall inspired um, plum maroon kind of uh, book. Um, it's kind of like a soft cut crease, not really, kind of like a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give that a bash. Yeah, I'm really sucking at talking today, so oh, I'm just going to get straight into it. I say that every single video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. So starting off to prime my eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I just got this as a little sample, so I thought I would try it out instead of using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot yet again. Um, then I am just going in to start off with, with my Frappe shade by Makeup Geek um, and just popping that in the top part of the crease and just above the crease to try and create a soft cut crease kind of look and then just blending that out so that it's nice and diffused. I'm taking the shade Cupcake by Makeup Geek to start introducing that purpley uh, maroon plum kind of colour. I'm taking my BH Cosmetics palette the Shan XO edition and using that maroon shade um, in my crease again then using my W7 chemist warehouse palette I'm just taking a shimmery more plum kind of color to darken everything up and then using my Sephora It palette, the Delicate Nudes one, and just popping that brown shade on my lid. And then using Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek um, to add to that. Okay, then taking my Nude Airbrush Undercover Primer, I'm going to prime my face. And then I'm using the new L'Oreal Lumi Nude Magic Cushion Foundation, which I bought today um, to try that out. It's in the shade 07. It doesn't actually have a name on it. It's like golden beige or something. It's the second lightest shade, I think, um, because the shades seem to get pretty dark, to be honest, because I'm fake tanned and even the second shade um, is like, well, yeah, the second shade's perfect and the shade after was too dark. Um, so yeah, the shades do get pretty dark. Then using my MAC concealer and my Napoleon Pro palette in the shade yellow and I'm just mixing them together to create a creamy consistency concealer to highlight and conceal my face. I'm then taking my Napoleon Complexion, Compre Complexion Perfection Close Up Translucent Setting Powder to set that all in place. I've never used this before, I've had it for a while, um, safe to say I absolutely love it. It feels so soft and light on the skin um, and yeah, it's just really nice to use. Then as per usual, I'm just brushing out my brows before using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown to shape and fill them in. I am then taking my Benefit Gimme Brow in medium brown to set them in place. 
Then back to the eyes, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Palette and I'm just taking a really deep purple um, to try and add some more plum into the maroon kind of shadows because I thought it was getting a bit too maroony, maroony, maroony um, for what I wanted. I'm then also just taking this perfect plum shade, which I wish I saw originally because it's literally the exact colour that I want, and adding that yet again into my crease and then just blending that out so it's all nice and diffused. Then again, with that Chemist Warehouse palette, I'm just taking a goldy shimmery colour to put all over my lid to just make it a little bit darker because the contrast looked a bit weird. I'm then taking that plum colour from that palette again and using that to smoke out my lower lash line. And then also I used Cupcake by Makeup Geek again in the centre and Shimmer Shimmer to add to my inner corners. I'm then taking my Stila Smudge Pot Gel Liner to um, do my eyeliner. I really need to stop doing wings with every look, but I just love doing wings. I then again use my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Intense Black or whatever um, to fill out the wing because the gel starts drying and it becomes a bit too hard to fill everything in and then uh, I don't really know why I use two eyeliners, I just do. I find it easier to connect everything using the Stila um, felt tip one but I do like doing the actual wing with gel so I don't know, bear with me, it's just what I do. And then just curling my lashes and then I'm using a new mascara that I also bought today which is the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. Um, my friend recommended this to me because I saw her wearing it and she had the most amazing lashes so I thought I would try it out. Then taking my Danny Beauty I Spy Lashes in Enchanter and my Ardell Lash Grip to add some false lashes and some drama to this look. Um, I haven't tried on these lashes before, these are different to the ones I used in my last video. Safe to say I think they're my favourites but then again I could say that about any pair of them, I love every single one of them. Using my Napoleon Purtis Kajal Eyeliner again to line my waterline. I just realised that I forgot to contour, <laughs> whoopsie! So I'm taking my NARS Laguna bronzer and just lightly contouring my um, cheekbones and I did warm up my temples a little bit as well and I dragged a little bit under my jawline but not as much as I normally do. I think I wanted to keep this look more about the eyes and the lips because it's a bold kind of look. I'm then using my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in dark red to line my lips um, and then using my Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Rouge. Um, I am then using that on all over my lips. I did use a lip brush to apply this because I gave up on trying to get perfect lines with the applicator so I thought I would try it with a lip brush and I was happy with the result. taking my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop and just quickly highlighting everything because who doesn't love a good highlight? Ha 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 ha. Alrighty guys, thank you all for watching. I really hope you liked this look. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments and 
Um, let me know what else you would like to see in terms of tutorials and videos. Yeah, if you liked this look and you're a newcomer, please like and subscribe. It will help me out um, a lot, a lot, a lot. And um, I will see you guys in my next video.